I'm back with Lauren Anderson, the Chainmail Lady. And Lauren, you have a project from your new book. This is great. Thank you. You're welcome. I love the idea of combining the chainmail with leather. Oh, I know. I, I, this, um, I got this bracelet with the holes already punched, just oh, screaming perfect. for chainmail to be put through those holes. So um, what I did in this particular project, we're going to be making this bracelet right here. And um, you need three different size jump rings, which I've used different colors here. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a jump ring and you're going to thread it up through these holes. Uh, of course, through the magic of TV. Well, it always takes a little bit of finessing to get things just right. There we go. Now, you might have to use a beading awl or something to get the holes a little bit more open. Um, okay so that you're going to add those jump rings all the way down and you're going to stagger them. Okay? So you want more of an offset. Right, So because you're going to be staggering your rings here. And once you get the whole thing filled, you're going to take the next size and you're going to add three pre-closed rings to that. Okay, so these are your tiniest ones. Yeah, these are little babies. And what's the name of the stitch? Um, it's actually, it's not really... Oh, you invented this. Yes. It's, All right. It's a, this is a it's Chainmail a Lady special. <laughs> <laughs> it's a variation on um, the Japanese weave. Oh, all right. So you're just going to take your jump ring, scoop up one, scoop up the other, and close it. Perfect. Okay. So now you have this here. And the next thing you're going to do is we're going to take another jump ring, and we're going to come in through this first ring here. We're going to pick up those three small jump rings that we just added, and then we're gonna swing around through that second ring. And okay. come in here and close it. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to add three small rings to this um, copper ring that we just added, like it shows right there. And then you just continue doing that all the way down the bracelet. So you keep weaving through your out two outer rows, and it's all connected correct. through the center here. That's correct. These. Yeah, that's where you get the Japanese uh, weave is is uh, small rings and large rings. Oh, okay. So see, here's the three that I've added, and then these are the three that I would add after I've already connected it, and then all keep the way on down. your merry way. Mm -hmm. And well, let's take a look at some of these projects from your book. Okay. Because this is one of the patterns that you have basic patterns in the beginning and then you build into the projects. These yes. are beautiful. This is one of my favorites. It's a uh, hand flower. Oh, and so you can wear it over your finger yeah, and over your wrist. And it has um, rubber rings in it that stretch so you don't need a clasp. Oh, so genius. It, yeah, it stretches right over your finger and it stretches right over your hand. Good idea. Thank you. And then what about these? Well, these are all, um, this is actually the same weave, just made out of different material. This one's made out of sterling silver and then that's the enamel coated copper. This is the Byzantine with just some extra rings added to it. This is the Mobi, which is something that you will learn in the beginning of the book. And again, now this is a Japanese, just like the one we've worked here. Um, oh, right. So you can see that this is, um, instead of the two outer rows, you also have a row going down the center there. Exactly. That's beautiful with this embellishment, too. Thank you. And this one? That is a European six-in-one, and it's called that because each jump ring goes through six other jump rings. All right. And now this piece right here has rubber rings and your aluminum rings. Yes. So that's another way where you can bring in other materials with your chain mail. And you also don't need a clasp. Oh, because it stretches. Yes, exactly. Right. And the one next to it stretches also, the green one. Oh, that, this one is using, I know your secret on that one. Oh. The eyeglass holder, right? Yes, yes. That's cool. And how about this one with the metal washers? Those are uh, some number eight washers that I found in our garage. And I don't know, I just thought, well, let's see if these will go together. And then um, I put crystals down the middle because I have to put crystals on everything. And then the last one is Club 55 because uh, there's, it's a long story, but when I was 55, I made that bracelet. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, and tell us a little bit about the necklace and earrings over oh, here, too. This is um, one of the first uh, things you're going to learn how to do. It's very easy. It's a three and three, you, this necklace and a pair of earrings to go with it. There's, um, this is the uh, shaggy loops with some crystals added, of course. And then this here is called a butterfly weave. Oh, that's really pretty too. Yeah, and I love the way that you combine the different colors. I, I love too. combining anything that I can find to combine with chain mail. 
I will. I can see that, definitely. And, oh, and what about the... Oh, sure, let's talk about these. Are Now, these are stitch markers. Yes, you can um, use them. I've been using them. I actually have a set that's at home that's a little bit smaller, and they work great. If you close your jump rings really well, there's no snagging of oh, your um, yarn. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea, and another way to bring in more materials. Yes. I have a feeling you put chain mail on everything. Um, yes. <laughs>